All right, here we have a really nice Lionel Fairbanks Morse. Chicago and Northwestern. 8056. I believe this engine was new in 1978, 79, something like that. I have the Santa Fe uh, version of this. Same thing. They are like totally no frills. I didn't pay a lot for this thing, but it's a beautiful, beautiful engine. And it didn't want to run. It ran all crappy, so that's usually indicative of a... Uh, <clears throat> A dirty E unit. So as you can see, this is as no frills as you can get. The two motors, two light bulbs, and an E unit. That's the whole thing. It's amazing. Simple as it gets. <clears throat> so you get a little bit of deoxid. Sprayed some deoxid in there. You know, moved it up and down very carefully with a uh, screwdriver. And powered it up, and boy, it runs beautiful now. So just as a final touch, I'm not even going to bother the, touching the brushes. They look fine. This thing doesn't look like, looks like it has very little use. Yeah, those brushes are hardly worn. Although, interestingly, these look more worn than they are. Hmm. But anyway, we've got to get a you know, drop of oil down there and drop of oil down inside there on that shaft and we'll get some grease in there and this thing will be ready to go. I already tested it. It runs fine. We'll, we'll, get, we'll get a test of it when I get the shell back on and everything is finished. All right, so I got it greased up. There's uh, one screw under here. I'm gonna take the motor off. And there's a little tiny bearing in the bottom. You pump some grease in there. And uh, this is what I use for my grease. This is a dental irrigator that I load up with synthetic grease. And we did both motors. Um, of course, uh, drop of oil in the top here. And over here. Over here. Let me see the, okay. Nice and clean. And a little drop like underneath the armature on the shaft down inside there and of course grease the gears two motor Fairbank Morse put the top on give it a little bit of a test run all right so it seems good nice and smooth Test it out on a layout. Yeah, so there it is, about as stripped as it can get. A motor, I should say two motors and an E unit. And as I was testing it, one motor went dead. Took it down on the bench, opened it up. What do you think we find? A wire popped off the motor. Terrible solder joint. This must have been a really low period, but it's a good engine. Once it's all uh gone over and strained out it's it's a beautiful engine no frills absolutely no frills